Welcome to Park Update, the weekly show that gives you the latest St. Louis Park news. I'm Scott Smith. You can now get cash rebates for new appliances under a new program coming to Minnesota. The appliance rebate program, commonly known as Cash for Appliances, is intended to help working families update their old household appliances with new Energy Star qualified appliances, saving money and energy. The Cash for Appliances program contains rebates for the purchase of large household appliances such as clothes washers, dishwashers, refrigerators and freezers. Rebates range from $50 to $200 depending on the appliance purchased and whether the old appliance was recycled. For more information, visit energy.mn.gov or call 651-296-5175. A sure sign spring can't be far off, the city's warming houses have now closed for the season. The crews will continue maintaining rinks throughout the week, but as temperatures rise, that maintenance will stop for the season too. A reminder though, that there are a variety of open skating times available at the rec center year round. Visit the city's website for times. St. Louis Park Friends of the Arts wants to hear how poetry has left an impact on you. As part of its year-long arts program, Our Town Verses and Voices, Friends of the Arts is soliciting poems for its Favorite Poems project. Community members are asked to submit their favorite poem from any genre, a written description of what that poem means to them, and a photo of themselves, all by April 1st. From the list of submissions, 12 poems will be selected by a panel led by community poet Diane Pecorero for inclusion in the 2010-2011 St. Louis Park City School calendar. Those not chosen may be featured in another Friends of the Art publication on its website or in other multimedia presentations. Visit Friends of the Arts website for complete details. City Cat Clinic and Condos is now open in its newly expanded facility. The new clinic nearly tripled in size and includes a welcoming reception area, three spacious exam rooms, a comfort room, a large state-of-the-art treatment lab, and hospital area. There's also exclusive boarding in roomy condos for cats only, including an interactive playground for your cat to stretch its legs while boarding. The new facility is located at 4813 Minnetonka Boulevard. Another business has been reinvented at the former Palm Bakery location at 6414 West Lake Street. M&T Munchies is a grab-and-go snack shop offering light breakfast and breakfast sandwiches all day. Salads, fresh fruit wraps, sandwiches, hand-dipped ice cream, and a variety of munchies. While the City Council is weighing in on the use of community development block grants this week, Jamie Zwilling has more in the City Council update. The city is expected to receive more than $200,000 in its annual allocation of community development block grants from the federal government. St. Louis Park will receive an estimated $206,500 in 2010, which is slightly higher than last year, $3,000 higher. CDBG funds allow cities discretion within the federal guidelines to fund projects that meet national low and Come objectives and the needs of cities. The national objectives are to benefit low and moderate income persons, prevention and elimination of slumber blight, or to meet a particular urgent community need. The council voted to allocate the 2010 funds to the city's emergency repair grant fund, low income deferred loan program, the housing land trust, and a St. Louis Park Housing Authority renovation project. Additionally, $7,500 is recommended for programming at Meadowbrook and Ainsworth Parks. Hennepin County will now have final say on the disbursements. In other council news, new utility rates are now approved. The City Council authorized an increase to St. Louis Park's water, sanitary sewer, storm drainage, and solid waste rates for 2010. Rates are adjusted annually to cover the cost of operations and infrastructure improvements to water mains, lift stations, sewer mains, and storm sewer systems. Look for complete information in your next utility bill. I'm Jamie Zwilling, and that's this week's Council Update. Thanks, Jamie. That's the latest news in the park. Here's a look at events happening in your neighborhood. We'll be off next week, so a reminder that the ever-popular Home Remodeling Fair returns to the Eisenhower Community Center in Hopkins on Sunday, February 28th. The fair is a free event sponsored by the cities of St. Louis Park, Minnetonka, Golden Valley, and Hopkins, as well as the Minnetonka, Hopkins, and St. Louis Park Community Education Departments. Mark your calendar, Sunday, February 28th, 10.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. at the Eisenhower Community Center, and that's located at 1001 Highway 7 in Hopkins. In school news, 
The school district is scheduled to take action on the final facilities resolution at its February 22nd school board meeting. This meeting will be televised live on Park TV 14 at 7 p.m. In addition to closing buildings and switching to a K-5 grade configuration, the board is also expected to act on new school boundaries for 2010. The proposed boundary changes are all available on the district's website at slpschools.org. Still to come, Leslie Farrell with the sports update. Up next, fitness specialist Sheila St. James has some healthy alternatives for hot dogs and hamburgers. And today's tip, vegetarian options. If you follow a vegetarian diet, it is now easier than ever to find quick and tasty meat alternatives. Most local supermarkets now have a full range of meat substitutes, such as garden burgers and veggie hot dogs. Even if you're not a vegetarian, these meatless options can be healthy alternatives to meat. Most meat alternatives are soy-based and contain less calories, cholesterol, and saturated fat than meat. They are also generally good sources of protein, dietary fiber, and minerals, such as iron and zinc. I am health and fitness specialist Sheila St. James, and this is the Fitness Minute. Sheila St. James also hosts Shape Up with Sheila on Park TV 15. Go to parktv.org for showtimes. Now here's Leslie Farrell with the sports update. Get ready for boys hockey sections. St. Louis Park plays in section 2A at Parade Ice Garden. Their sections start on Wednesday, February 24th. Benilde St. Margaret's plays in section 6AA. Games take place at the high seed. BSM sections start on Tuesday, February 23rd. The state girls hockey tournament runs February 24th through the 27th at Excel Energy Center and the Ritter Arena at the U of M. Boys and girls basketball is ongoing. Keep supporting our teams. Now, here's your latest high school sports scores. That's it for this edition of Park Update. For Leslie Farrell and Jamie Zwilling, I'm Scott Smith. We'll be back in two weeks with our next show. Thank you.